friends welcome back to leap an icsc learning channel today we are going to discuss about ratios in our daily life we come across situations where we have to compare two quantities of same type for example we can compare the heights of children weight of students suppose raju has six balloons and ramu has five balloons we can compare the number of balloons in two different ways first method ratu has 6 minus 5 more balloons than ramu that is he here we compare the number of balloons by finding the difference between them so this type of comparison is known as comparison by differences in second method we can compare in a different way that is number of ratu's balloons divided by number of ramu's balloons is equal to 6 by 5 that is ratu has 6 by 5 more balloons than ramu so here we compare the two quantities by division so when we compare two quantities by division we can say that we are forming ratios so what is a ratio so we can define ratio as follows ratio is a fraction which denotes the relationship between two quantities of same type and it is denoted as is to that is let a and b are two quantities then we can express that two quantities as a is to b or a by b and always remember that these two quantities should be of same kind that is we can compare number of balloons or height of students but we cannot compare five men and three horses because they are different types so always remember that in ratios the quantities should be of same kind and these letters or these a and b or the quantities are known as terms of the ratio and the first quantity a is known as first term or antecedent and the second quantity is known as second term or consequent and always remember that a is to b is not equal to b is to a it should be kept in mind that the order of the ratio is also very important that is a is to b a is to b is entirely different from b is to a that is a is to b is not equal to b is to a ratio in simplest form a ratio a is to b is said to be in simplest form if the terms a and b have no common factor other than 1 for example consider a ratio 20 is to 15 we can express 20 is to 15 as 20 by 15 this 20 by 15 or 20 is to 15 is not in simplest form so we can make this 20 by 50 into simplest form by see we can cancel this one 4 then 3 so here it is 4 by 3 or 4 is to 3 this 4 and 3 have no common factor other than 1 so this 4 is to 3 is in simplest form if you like this session please subscribe and share it